Yeah, 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 it's your boy Lionel, y'all. Today we're doing a different review. We've got the keys. We got the keys. Forget these are it. We got the keys to the RS4. This RS4, it's a customized RS4. It's a, not your everyday RS4. This is a Revo Technic RS4. It's got the remap and the cut back exhaust. It's customized from front to back. But the RS4, beautiful, beautiful vehicle. It's it's a very renowned vehicle because it's got the Cotra four-wheel drive, which is just an amazing, amazing experience. Nice and meaty. There's a difference in the RS4 from the standard to the dynamic mode. Um, when it's on the standard mode, which is comfort, it closes the valves. And this is what it sounds like inside the car. Barely airing. Very refined. Oh, cut back. Oh, baby, that raspiness. That's what it's about. My review on this RS4 today, it's just taken you lot to a different level so you can kind of understand. I've driven different cars, lots of different cars. I've had, you know, the RS5, I've had S4, I've had the CLS 55, 63, I've had the CLS 055, and then this had GTR. But this RS4, it's pound for pound, not as quick, it's by far not the quickest car I've been in, but this car itself is probably one of the best cars I've had for the simple fact that it's um, it's 450 horsepower, or triple four to be exact, um, and it's a fully tuned engine. What I've had done to it, it takes up to another 40 horsepower to about 485. Now, I'm putting it in sports mode. So we're in gear four, so I'm in gear seven. You should lift off straight away. There you go. The throttle response is so different. And being in sports mode, you feel like this is where you want to drive the car in most of the time, especially when you're out in the open uh, and you get appreciate all your drive and the traction this car puts on the floor. Camera in front, let's see the countryside going past us. Yeah, yeah, we've got an S5 in front. We want to show them what an RS4 is like, Revo Technic, baby. You wanna hear it? I think he just jumped out the seat. You don't want it, does he? You don't want it, does he? Do you want it? Can't make any more obvious than this. Even the car spitting fire saying, let's do this, free come baby. Title. Nasty Audi RS4 gets me in trouble. The reason why it gets me in trouble because you can hear it coming a mile away. So if you can hear it, everybody else can hear it. The legals can hear it. Gets me in trouble, I get a stop. I want to check over the car, everything's fine. Also, it wakes up kids in the middle of the night. They might be having nightmares thinking there's a monster or the lions coming through the window, growling. So it gets me in trouble, the parents are telling me off. And then it also gets me in trouble because it's just a fast car. If you like this video today, what you've seen, there's more videos coming your way, especially reviewing cars. I'm always in and out of fast cars. Um, let me know down below, comments. If you didn't like it, tell me what you want me to change on the next one. 
I take it as positive criticism. I ain't gonna delete no comments. So get some comments out there. Tell me what you think. And the main thing is, there's a red button. It's called subscribe. Trust me, it works. If you've got a Gmail account, you hit subscribe, it'll tick it and it'll go great. You'll have a bell next to it, turn the notifications on so every time Lion AR's making noise, you're listening to it telling your boys. So do that, subscribe, follow my journey. It's only going to carry on, God willing. On that note, Lion AR, like it or hate it, gotta rate it. Peace. <laughs>